Hello, Sander here. Just want to do a video on what I've been doing to cope with my dysphoria lately, which has been really, really bad. It has been pretty awful. Um, the, you know, the way that I see myself in my brain, you know, as a male, I see that body and then I'm, I'm just hyper aware of the fact that I don't have that body, that I'm in the wrong body. Um, you know, I'll be driving or sitting or whatever and it's like, this might be too much information, but I realize I feel like there should be something between my legs and there isn't. Or I look in the mirror and I see these giant breasts and just wish they weren't there or that I could do something to make them go away. You know, get top surgery or just something. Just putting on a bra in the morning, it just, it just really gets to me sometimes. So, the ways I'm in coping, firstly, I have become kind of a regular at an open mic near my house. I'm a musician, you know, I have songs on YouTube. I know that's a shameless plug there, but anyway. Um, and now I go with Sander, and they all know me as Sander. I walk in, they say, hey Sander, what's going on? And it's just a place where I can be me when I can't be myself at work, if I can't be myself at home too much, or myself too much in public, at least I have this one safe place where I can be myself, which I think is something to recommend everybody to have at least that one place or that one person where you can be you. And that's made a huge difference to me. Um, as for when it comes to ways to make myself feel better in my body, um, one of the things I am using my binder from GC2B, I mentioned I have one, it's a 3XL half binder, and it doesn't really work, as I've said many, many times, because it really only flattens me to about a B, but what I'll do is something like this, I'll layer up my shirts, especially if they've got pockets, because if there's a bulge, you can blame it on the pocket, instead of anything under it. I think I talked about that in my how to bind, that a binder video, and, um, it works. You know, I look flat when I do that and um, and it just feels better because I do feel flatter even though I'm not feeling completely flat um, it still has been helping if I could pack I would pack but the last time I tried using the harness that I showed in the video it basically completely snapped on me so now I have no way of securing my packer um, I'm planning on getting special boxers I saw them on Amazon, they're on the tool shed, which I love, I've mentioned, and you know, it's just regular boxers that happen to have a pocket for your packer, and those would be perfect, because I already wear boxers, so it wouldn't seem strange if I'm folding laundry and somebody walks by to see just another pair of boxers, and just be highly convenient. You don't got to fight with a pouch and all that kind of stuff that you would have on like a jock strap. You have just the pouch inside of the underwear, so you could just pop it right in there quick and easy to go. Um, so a lot of the time that's why I wouldn't pack. It's because it would take so long to get it in the pouch of my um, jock strap that I just didn't want to mess with it in the morning before work or whatever it was. So when I get that, I'll definitely do a video on it. But instead of having my actual packers, the, what I do to get a bulge, because if you know I'm at the open mic, um, Sander, I got male pronouns and all of that, I want there to be a bulge. Because if someone's looking a little too closely, flat. So, and I've already got the female voice going for me, and um, a lot of people there still kind of think I'm a female for the most part. So, what I do is I'll get a giant pair of rolled up socks, like the uh, Redford socks, I think they're called, you make sock monkeys out of, something like that. And then I get a pair of panties, which I still have, and use that as kind of a harness to hold the sock in place. And then I'll put the boxers on top of that, and it gives a nice bulge, and it's not uncomfortable, you know, they're just socks, so it's not like they're scratching or rubbing or anything like that, um, and it's been working, and it helps mentally to just, you know, be able to see something there and kind of feel something there um, that sometimes I feel like I should have. Uh, and then the other thing I do, which is probably definitely way too much information here, but I won't shave my legs because then I feel more like a guy. Um, in that sense, I just let the hair grow out, full out masculine. I'm gonna get hair here. Um, high testosterone runs in my family. All us female people in the family get the hair going on. So sometimes I'll let that grow out a little bit just 
to feel like a little bit of facial hair going on. Um, I do present as a male sometimes, I've mentioned, where I'll put the hair on my face and stuff, but I just don't have the materials or the time right now to do it at the moment. So once I get more materials, I'll probably start doing it more because it really makes me feel more like me when I can take pictures of myself with the facial hair that I can look at later. And when I look at those pictures, I definitely will feel like I'm looking at my reflection the way I want it to be. Um, and you know, when I think stuff like that, I think for a second, maybe I'm trans because I feel so strongly about it. But as I've mentioned, my dysphoria kind of comes and goes kind of like up and down like waves. And um, I'll probably be calm down a little bit, probably in a week or two and be fine, kind of get away from the dysphoria. And um, really the last thing I do to help myself out, if it doesn't have something to do with a physical appearance or a social situation, is that I journal. I'm a writer, hopefully one day a novelist, we'll see. And um, I have a special journal dedicated just to Sander. It's where I can put all my, my thoughts and my dysphoria and all the things that I can't say to people that are inside that I'm either too scared to talk about or don't have someone to talk about it to or something like that. I just sit down and I write. And that's been helping to just get all these emotions and thoughts just out and onto a piece of paper rather than rolling around in here too much. So anyway, um, you know, that's really kind of the main stuff I've been doing lately is having that social place that's safe where there are people that see me as Sander, you know, as me, as my male self. The other thing I do is physical stuff, like I said, binding, kind of packing with socks, um, just layering up shirts, letting hair grow out, whatever it is, the things that make me feel more like a man physically. And then the last thing I do emotionally, like I just said, is to journal, which I highly recommend to anybody. I mean, even if you're not a writer, you just write what's in your head, what you're feeling. And it, it's actually very therapeutic. For those of you who haven't tried it before, I would recommend it because it's just cleansing. It's definitely cleansing. So I would recommend that. And like I said, I'm going to probably be getting some new gear. Like I said those boxers. So when I do, I'll do review on those as well. So anyway, just checking in. Things are totally fine on my front. I hope you guys are doing great. And I just want to thank you as always for watching. I hope that you guys have a great day. A great time wherever you're going tonight or whatever it is you're doing. So, um, once again, I'll catch you guys later.